This is Mary at the Marriottier. And this is Friday night. Friday night. Time to do some art. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Has it been a long day for you guys? It's been a long week, too. A long day and a long week. I'm so glad the weekend is here. Is anybody else glad the weekend's here? Oh, <sighs> yeah. Well, this morning I worked on these snow globes. I'm going to work on them again, but later in the evening, late, late, probably. Well, depending how late I decide to stay up. Let's move them out of the way for now. I did get to Office Max today, and I printed off some copies of my little houses scene. Now, there was a guy who printed this off for me. I will not be going back. <laughs> they charged me 71 cents a copy, which I think is outrageous. I can get same quality at the library for 10 cents a copy. Outrageous. Outrageous. I paid it because I didn't bother to ask him how much. And I've got that white border, but I'm going to go around it. And I think I have enough here to... Um, I'm hoping that the houses will look good on here after I get it all folded up. I think I'll border it in gold around the edges, but we'll do that later. I got 20 copies. One will go to Dee Dee Willingham for the swap. I know I'm late, Dee Dee. I just got to the I just got to the printers today. I also printed off I have they're out in the other room. Copies of my fox and the hummingbird for those of you who have contributed to my super chat for September and October. And they'll be about five by five. And I thought that was a little outrageous too. I can do better at the library. So let's welcome. Let's welcome folks in here. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Suze. Hi, Janet. 85 cents for color copies. For just running it through the copy machine? Oh, my goodness. Our library only charges a dime. And I get good quality from that library that's closed now because of COVID. They've closed the city offices again. We're having a, uh, uh, another occurrence, another cycle of the COVID in our area. I don't think there's as many cases. It's just that we have a lower population. So percentage-wise, per capita, it seems pretty big. But anyway, I thought I would try the print shop, but I'm very unhappy with the cost and the... <laughs> And what he did to those, I guess on those 8 by 11 so you have to expect that white border. I'll just border it in gold. Thank you, Janet. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Candy. Hi, Suze and Nina. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Violet. Yay, Violet. How you feeling, lady? I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're on the mend. Everybody give Violet a big hug. A big virtual hug for Violet. <laughs> Mina says her local UPS charges 10 cents a page. Yeah. Yep, I got copies. I am doing well, Rhonda. Thank you. Candy's here. Mina's here. Rhonda's here. 
Lori Paint Girly is here. Janet Mom, Janice Glines, Mina Violet. Yay! Look at you all, Suze. Janet dropped the link to the Fibsville Friends Facebook group. If you are not a member and you sign up, be sure to answer the questions so that it'll just make it easier to get accepted. Yes, it's so good to see our dear Violet back, isn't it? We love you, Violet. She says she still struggles to breathe, memory loss, and fatigue. But I just had to get out of bed to see everyone tonight. Oh, Violet. Big hugs. And you know what? If you get too tired, and if you can't remember a stupid thing, <laughs> you just go to bed. We'll understand. We're so glad you popped in to say hi. Look, they're all giving you hugs, Violet. See? See how much we love you? <laughs> well, I did go to the thrift store today. And let's start off with this package here. Um, <laughs> you guys are going to talk about the printers being expensive. Now, this is the thrift store where I usually go that that church thrift store that's run by the Catholic Church. And I like it pretty well. I always get nice things there, and they treat me nice, and it's clean. Today, I got everything. I thought, wow, cool. I'm going to go pay. And I went to pay, and she rang up my charge, and she said, that will be $80. And I said, $80? <laughs> There's got to be a mistake. <laughs> I did not buy $80 worth of thrift store so she went back and redid everything and and there was a mistake i did not spend 80 dollars at the thrift store i'm not going to tell you how much i spent you can estimate as i show you i like to get these blouses and shirts now they'll have to be washed but isn't that pretty i like to wear them see like this came from the thrift store and if i get spots on them while I'm in here. I don't care. So isn't that pretty? And this, these are larger ones that I can put over in the winter time. I can put them over my t-shirts if I want so I can kind of layer. So I got two of those. I'm just always buying those. They'll go in the wash before I wear them. And then I got this. It's macrame braid mac mac <laughs> mac -mary. well you know uh they usually make these to hang pots with it's washable color fast dries quickly fade and shrink resistance fluffable and easily combed excellent melding strength when it says it's easily combed i'll bet i can make some nice tassels out of that I'll bet you. Now, I'm not going to macrame, but uh, it was $3. I got two of them. There were two of them there. I bought both of them. And I thought, man, I'll bet I can find something to use this for. Um, so I got it. Sometimes when I get stuff, it's called pecan chip, chips. Pecan or pecan however you guys pronounce it, chip, C-H-I-P, macrame. But you know, this stuff gets expensive. Now, this was $7 originally, $7 at Allen's, which was the local store that liquidated. So I paid $3 for it, but what, I had no idea what I'm going to use this for, but usually when I get stuff like this and I don't have a use for it, it's just what I need sometime in the future. So I feel good about getting it. Let me throw them behind the chair here. And then I bought a, a pair of winter gloves for $2. And look, it's got a little hook here. You can hook them to the, each other so that you don't lose them when you... <laughs> They're handcuffed to each other. Wait a minute. It won't come out. 
Oh, well, that one came out. Huh. These look like they're brand new, never been worn. And uh, it was cold out today. It's going to freeze. They're predicting snow for the, I might clip that off. I don't like that hanging there. Um, I could have worn these today. They're predicting snow for Sunday. It was cold enough to snow today. If we would have had moisture in the air, it would have snowed today. I don't know what. This looks like it was a part of a label or something. It says windshield. Um, Thinsulate. Insulation. 40 grams. So, they'll come in handy this winter. I got some Mod Podge for how much? $2 for this. But it's never been opened. And it's matte. And I use this to make that Julie's uh, Topaz Pearl Girl make a modeling case. And then I got some gold trim. And I had, I bought one of these roller stamper things. And I have a bunch of those. Not a bunch, but several. But I never could find a handle. And I found a handle today. And this is hearts on here. So I have, I have some more of these. And now I have a handle. These look like they're. I'm not sure what these are. Huh. Something or other. Little stamp thing. So, now I'll be buying these things. Because I see these quite a bit with no handle. So I got that. I got some floral tape. Just for... It was there. I think I paid 50 cents for that. Got some gold rickrack for a quarter. And... <laughs> oh, dear. Let me grab a hold of it all. Well, I got this little bag of beads and lace. Looks like they braided a ribbon there for a dollar. Hold it here. I got a bundle here of floss. Now, I usually buy floss. This is DMC, though, and this is pretty good stuff. Oh, there's a J.P. Coates. There's one J.P. Coates in there. Um, but I got it for Rosemary's Journal. This is not project-related. And you can see there are a lot of earth colors here. Browns, mauves, blues, grays. One bright color, which is a bacilla. So I got that. And then I just bought this because I thought it'd come in handy again. It cost me a dollar. It's uh, a row of Velcro. I use a lot. I use Velcro a lot. And I got some rickrack and some, I found some seam binding, for, but it's brown, so I won't need to dye it. And then I got some hem, lacy hem fate seam for 25 cents. So that's my little stuff that I got, plus those blouses. That certainly doesn't come to $80, but I'm not quite done, but... <laughs> uh. I'm not, I'm not counting. She gave me a fair price after, after I told her I wasn't going to pay $80. And then I found this purse. Now, I know this is not leather. This was $2, $3. There was another one that was $2, and I decided on this one. And it, it, what I like about it, if you open this up, look, it's got... A pocket here, little pockets, little card pockets in there. 
a divider. It's not really a pocket, but it has these little card pockets in here and a zipper pocket here and another divider and a elastic pocket. So there's quite a few pockets in there, which is nice to have. And then there's a pouch here and a pocket in there. So I got this to paint on. Candy, Candy, bless her heart, gifted me some leather paint. Now I'm sure this is not leather, but it's just as much leather as that maroon purse that I have is. And I think it's a, uh, it's a, where did I see the, I thought I saw the, maybe that was on another purse. I thought it was a guess, G-U-E-S-S, -S, but I guess that was another one. This one doesn't have a, wait, here it is. It says, it was made in China. <laughs> it's vinyl. It's vinyl. It says it's vinyl. But I did go to Hobby Lobby and I bought some leather scraps. And I'm going, well, not scrappy scraps, but a package. They were, it was only $6, so I'm going to play with that leather paint on those. So I got that, and then I got this Valance, Curtain Valance was $2, and you know what I'm going to do with this, I'll give you one, two guesses, <laughs> I like it because of all the squares, let's open it up and look at it, they had one there, it was really pretty, but they wanted $6. And it was the same size as this one. One panel. 34 by 24. And they wanted $6 for that other one. And as pretty as it was, I had to leave it. So I like all the little squares. I think that this will make a nice spray or spray through. You know, it's not lacy as much as it is. You know, it's got the flower pot. Three flower pots. Four flower pots. And then it's got this. I got it to, yeah, I got it to play with the walnut inks. Good thing my tea has a lid on it. So I got that. I, when I go shopping, you guys, you know we all think art. Now this was in where they sell the fabrics. And it looks like somebody had this on an embroidery hoop. And it looks like they started to paint it. And I think it's floral. Looks like it's got some leaves. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be in here. It looks like donuts. But it's kind of a loose weave fabric I don't think I could if I stitched on it I'd have to embroider but I'm not sure I would do this in here so I got it because it was right beside this piece that I'm going to show you this is the no wait wait hold it I got this lace I paid two dollars for this yellow lace here let's open this up This was worth two dollars. This is worth two dollars. This is wide, wide lace. That's pretty. I suppose it's meant to be cut right here, where it's, it's got a double, a double hem there. But I don't know if I'd cut it. And let's see. Did they say how many yards it was? They didn't say how many yards I'm guessing maybe four yards three or four yards there so I got that but here's what I really was the bargain I think I in fact I told her to check the price on this look at this and it's all done too 
It needs to be blocked. It needs to be blocked. And I was thinking, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> I guess if I blocked it, I could make a really nice journal cover, sort of. But it would have to, again, be maybe... I'm not sure. Um, because when you make a journal cover... You know, the divides there and you get part here and part there. I'm not sure that I'd want a journal cover like that. Unless I did something in the here, over here. Which I could, but the prettiest part is right in the center, right there. So, and it just needs to be blocked. I thought I would play with, um, when you block it, what you do is you put it on a foam piece. But I thought what I would do, and I might do that later. Here's the back of it. So it's got all the little yarn threads here. But what I thought I would do before I go to bed tonight is wet this down really good and tape it to my table here and uh, hit it with the heat gun, but also let it dry overnight and see if if that would block it. I, I I think it'll block pretty easy. I don't think it's that. It's a little bit out of shape. It needs to be pulled like this. But it's awfully pretty. Now you can make a pillow out of it, but we don't use pillows that much around here. It would make a nice wall hanging. It's really It's really pretty on the side here. I just haven't decided what I want to do with it. But it was certainly worth $2. That's what I paid for this was $2. I've seen these type of things go in this same condition, unblocked, for $15 or $20 at antique stores. So this is really nice. This was the bargain. This was my bargain of the day, if you ask me. <laughs> so, and then... Let me put these back in the sack here. I'll leave that on top. Then I got some, uh, I got three books. And I was pretty happy with my books too. She was going to charge me, she charged me $2 for the hardcover book, which is, you know, that's about right. This was the hardcover. We'll come back to that. This one um, was a dollar. It's a smash book. I imagine some things have probably been taken out of it, but not much because it's, it's pretty full in there. And uh, I don't really smash stuff, but I thought, well, for a dollar, it might be fun. And I was looking at this and I have to laugh because some of this, it looks like it might have been filled out by a teenage girl or something. But I was laughing. You know, it's called this and that. Well, this would be one thing and that would be the opposite, like um, healthy and unhealthy. I had a laugh at this when it comes down. Strawberry shortcake. Unstrawberry shortcake. <laughs> That's the opposite. Strawberry shortcake and unstrawberry shortcake. The opposite of the moon is the sun. I had a laugh at that one too. Moist is dry. Healthy, unhealthy, hard, soft, dead and alive. Boy, girl, sour, sweet, hollow. I thought this one was interesting. Hollow and she put stuffed. <laughs> and then there's, there's a couple other things. Oh, she wrote a flower please. Family, friends, and nail polish. Cheap thrills was family, friends, and nail polish. And this says, would you protect this pretty face too? And she wrote, no, I wouldn't. So I might leave those little things in there just for fun. Because it kind of gives you a clue to, to uh, the previous owner. Just little hints. A strawberry shortcake and unstrawberry shortcake. Now this one, she she charged me two dollars for a hard copy, which I thought was fair. 
but this is a hot, this is a soft bound book and she was going to charge me two dollars again and I I fought her on it you know I said it's soft bound it's not a hard bound although it's a nice book um, you know sometimes they don't price these things um, I think she gave it to me for a dollar but when I saw this originally I thought book carving but now I'm looking at it, it's talking about uh, quoting together in the 19th century America. I've long been interested in the history surrounding, and something, something, something I can't read here, together in the 19th century America, the results that domestic ritual was the American quilts that confirmed the importance of family and friendships. For Purpose and Pleasure presents 18 essays on nearly 40 significant group-made quilts from the 19th century, which would be the 1800s. In addition to their considerable aesthetic merit, the surfaces of these extraordinary quilts are rich with signatures and dates. You know, and I, when I first thumbed through this, I thought, oh, this would be fun to do a, a book carving. But now I'm not sure. Because, well, just because. I mean, there's a lot of pretty pictures in there, but 18 essays might be interesting reading. So period pastimes. And this one, what attracted me to it was the cover. I love all this Victorian stuff. And look at the inside of it. Isn't this cool? Look at, isn't that cool? Inside cover. And I didn't think book carving on this. I thought fussy cut. But uh, on both of these books, I think that it'll probably take me a little time before I cut into these. Look at that peacock. Isn't that beautiful? This, when I was looking at this, I was thinking about Dee Dee Willingham and she presented a challenge sometime, I don't think it was last year, I think it was the year before last, to pick an art and to reinvent it. And at that time, I chose black work. But as I look through this, like how many of us, I won't do it because I don't really care for feathers, but how about feather work? That's where that peacock came in was feather work. I can't find it right now. Modeling in wax. Modeling in wax. I think, oh, let's model some crayons. <laughs> Decorations in sand and seaweed. Of course, this is shells, vegetable uh, seeds. Shell work. Here, it's feather work. See, I'm not that crazy about feathers, but it is pretty. And uh, so it might be fun to pick a, uh, a challenge out of here. I mean, and, and do that challenge. Pick something out of here and do that challenge. This is a rug, a carpet. Isn't that cool? A cat and a bird and a rooster, an elephant, a squirrel. That's a little dog, and another dog, and a parrot, a lion, a hen, a cat, and a dog. So it would be fun maybe to read through this and pick one. Quilting. How could I reinvent quilting? <laughs> yeah. Silk embroidery pictures. Here's the black work. Let's go back one here. Black work. I could go back to black work again. I like black work a lot. And I think I started doing a mind map on black work. And of course, if there's black work, you have to have white work. <laughs> Which is all done in white threads. So I might go back onto that and touch on black work again. And see what I could do to reinvent the craft of black work because that's not anything that we typically do cruel embroidery 
stump work and encrusted embroidery. Of course, samplers, the ladies' work box. I had a laugh. I had a laugh when I looked at this. I, I'm sitting here. They had these, they used to call these coffins, these little boxes that hold the needlework and everything. They called them coffins back in the, back in the long time ago. But it holds all of her, you know, her thread, her scissors and her threads and her tape measure and see all these. And I was laughing about it because I know my needlework friends, they would have something like this, but it would be like us. Their entire room is, you know, they have cabinets for their fabrics and cabinets for their patterns and tubs and bookcases and, you know, <laughs> I tell them they're artists. And if you think about the ladies in the 1800s, they wouldn't have one little room stuffed full of fabric. <laughs> I had a laugh at that. But it's really cool stuff. So let's see what else is in here. The Art of Paper Flowers. Now that might be fun to reinvent too. Cutting paper flowers. You'd have to reinvent flowers though. Reinvent paper flowers. How could you reinvent paper flowers? Now I'm thinking Dee Dee here. That challenge. I never really. I researched black work. But I never really did a reinvent on it. I got into what does it mean to reinvent something. Invent and reinvent. And that led me to ideas. Which led me to a mind map. Which led me down a <laughs> rabbit hole. Paper cutouts and pin pricking. Have you ever heard of pin pricking? Huh. Silhouettes. It's an introduction. I think this is to um, paper pursuits. Now that's more mixed media. <laughs> paper pursuits. Pay filigree paperwork. Looks like some, what do they call that? Quilling. Silhouettes is paperwork. So this is all paperwork here. And stenciling. Painting furniture, folk art, painting on chairs and chests and boxes. This is cool stuff. Dark blue and gold. Pen work. Quaint scrolls and ab ab. A-R-A-B-E-S-Q-U-E-S. -E Going to have to look that one up. Flowers of extraordinary forms, birds of marvelous plumage, and devices which have only their oddity to recommend them. Pen work. Decorated with pen work. Which says to me, pen and ink. Can you imagine doing that in pen and ink? Sources for pen work designs appeared in ladies journals devoted to the usual handicrafts and magazines such as Ackerman's The Repository of Arts work boxes tea caddies game boards and small cabinets appeared with profuse decorations in ink Depicting in miniature fierce swordsmen, scribes, elephants. So this was all done in pen and ink. Just beautiful. You know, <laughs> I don't know if I have the patience. Painting on velvet. Painting on glass. Self-portraiture. The amateur arts. This is a candle screen. The painting portfolio. So... 
Uh, yeah, I got this to cut up, but I think I'm going to be keeping it for reference for a while. I think I'm going to go back to that black work and see how I can reinvent black work <laughs> sometime. So, that was my haul. Let's look at chat. That was my haul. My thrift haul. I'm going to take my cord out while I'm looking at the chat here. Do 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 do. Looks like Rosemary's presenting her November caboodle kit. All right. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sharon Lombard. Welcome, everybody who's come in. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Holly Dalton. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, there's some Samsung bugging me again. Mina's here. Janet's here. Mina says, those are some nice geometric patterns in that other book would make nice carved eraser stamps. Yeah, Mina. <laughs> I agree. I bought I bought four packages of erasers today just because they were the last four left. <laughs> I said, if I don't get them now, they won't be there next spring. <laughs> so I have them. I'll have them for... Carved November, which is going to come up here in a few days. I'm going to do Carved November, and don't ask me what I'm doing. Sharon Lombard says hello to everybody. Cheryl's here. Lori Paint Girly. Hi, Mary's Folly. Welcome, welcome. Frame it. Yeah, Cheryl, I, I would frame it, but the only trouble is I don't have wall space to hang stuff up on. That's that's my problem. Uh, there's just... Uh, I would love to frame it, but it, there's just no place to hang it. A pillow. A pillow is an option. I'll just have to keep it for a while and think about it. No notification that Mary was on. Yeah, I noticed that this morning, too, in my own other account. I think what happens is you can only, I, I heard him talking about it in one of the creator insider things. Uh, you can release as many as you want videos and comments on the community tab and all of that, but they'll only take three because they can't decide which one's most important. <laughs> I didn't go, they're all important, you know, and I guess they, they, they think that if they put notifications out on every little thing, that they'll be spamming, spamming or something, so I think that they only allow three notifications a day, I don't know that for sure, that could be fake news <laughs> for Mary, I don't, that's, uh, that's just what I think from gathering from what I heard so and uh, I I went live to this morning but last night I think it was sometime last night I put um, on my community tab I think I put um, and now's a good time to mention it um, Mabel's crafting on a budget she had a sale today I couldn't make today's but she's also going to have a sale tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. And it's Crafting on a Budget is her channel. And the reason I'm mentioning it is not only do I like to go, but she is also going to be in our Sunday live stream hop, which happens this Sunday, this Sunday evening. The schedule is on my community tab, and it's also in the announcements in Vibsville Friends. And if you can't get to either one of those, email me. My email address is in the description box in the, under the social links. And I'll see that you get a schedule. Um, and then also Keisha's Creations is going to have a, a marketplace on November 6th and 7th. 
So I let those two, I posted two things on my community tab and I did a live stream. And I did a live stream yesterday. So they may just say, enough notifying people, Mary. <laughs> just leave them alone for a while. <laughs> so, and by the way, when I uh, set my camera um, to go live tonight, I noticed my morning video is still processing. So YouTube must be really backed up. And that could have something to do with it too. So if... If my video from this morning is still processing, I imagine that it, they're pretty busy. So that could be why you're not getting notifications. Um, they made a change not too long ago to allow creators to do bulk uploads. Now, I don't do bulk uploads, mostly because I do live streaming. But I even when I do videos, I don't put out 50 videos in one upload. <laughs> you know, I don't even put out 55 videos in one upload. I don't do bulk uploads. But you would think that if too many people did bulk uploads, that that would tax the system. But that's Mary's thought. I don't know. Maybe they don't care. Evidently, they don't because they have bulk uploads. Mary's Folly says she loves yellow. Spray walnut ink. Yeah. Yep, all those squares are just like filet crochet. That's what I got that for, that Valance, was to spray walnut ink. Okay, we're back to where Cheryl came in. And Holly's here, and Nashua's here. Welcome, everybody. And then we're back to where we're all giving Violet hugs. Whoops. So what I thought I'd do tonight, hi Riri, welcome, now you do, but for the past 20 minutes or so, I was blocked on my other phone, oh wait, is Becky here, the cats are setting in, hi Becky, hi Aunt Beck, she changed the time to central, uh, uh, to 6 central tomorrow? Oh, she did, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Okay. I'll go edit that. I can't get to my community tab from here, but after afterwards, I'll go edit my, my post. Yeah, Joyce knows um, Marge from Crafting on a Budget. So what, she was going to do it at 1 p.m., but now she's doing it at 6 p.m. Central, her sale. How long does it take for your community tab to kick in, Mary? You mean to actually get a community tab to work on? Or how long does it take after I make a post for it to post? Um, the community tab was actually surprised me. Uh, it was all of a sudden there. I, have, I did not request it or anything, so I, I have no idea how long it took to actually get it because I wasn't watching for it. But if I make a post, usually it's pretty immediate. Usually if I post, now you can, they changed it so you can actually schedule a post, just like you can schedule a video. Like if I had a post that I want to go live, you know, just like sending an e email that you're, um, you don't want it to go right away. You want it to go tomorrow at 6 o'clock. You can schedule your post. But I never really schedule posts. I usually just bop them in there. And usually they're pretty immediate. I'll post and then I'll go to another one of my accounts and check. So, but the videos, the videos take a long time to process. My live stream, like I said, on busy days like today must be busy. Because I ended my live stream about 8.34 this morning. And it's still processing. And I know if you do an unlisted live. I used to do a lot of unlisted lives. Which meant I just sat here and did my art. And just let it all go to an unlisted uh, video. And then if I liked everything I put it to public. 
but I noticed lately those unlisted live streams take up to eight to ten hours to process. It's just ridiculous. And I think it has to do, personally, I think it has to do with the bulk uploads. You know, you get some of these people who upload 50 videos at one time. They're getting a month's work of worth ready to go. And I can't say that for sure because I don't see all the behind the scenes stuff. But when you stop to think how many people upload videos on YouTube, you got to give them credit. Getting Scott's toys off nearly took us out. Oh, you mean all Scott's saws and and woodworking and all of that? Maybe remove YouTube off of other phone and see. Huh. I'm not sure who Cheryl's talking to. 20 feet. Aunt Beck said, if Greg had, not, Greg had not helped us before he went to work yesterday, we would still be unloading that 20-foot u <laughs> I sympathize. When I moved around, when I moved from Iowa down to Kentucky, I drove a U-Haul. I towed my car behind, and it was just me. It was just me. I was a trip. You know, I had them at U-Haul. Lucky me, that got them. I don't know if they'll do that anymore, but the guy at U-Haul hooked my car up on a trailer and everything, and and uh, I got on the interstate. <laughs> it stuck to the interstate, and when I did have to get off or get gas, I made sure that I didn't get any tight places that I couldn't get out of. And, uh, boy, I know. I know what it's like to do that moving, and my heart goes out to you. So you must be ultra tired, Becky. Are you all moved now, though? I suppose there's cleaning the house. I always had to clean. You always have to clean the apartment before you leave. You know, there's that. Especially if you're renting in a big apartment community. Because if they have to, if they have to clean the carpet, they charge you. And, you know, that's something they should be doing anyway. But... And I'm talking about vacuuming it. Mary, she's changed. Okay, we're back to that. Hi, Crystal. Welcome, Crystal. Uh, Crystal K. Glad to have you join us. Okay, I thought what I would do tonight... Rather than jump into one of my yummy pages or painting uh, snow globes and stuff like that, I thought that what I would do is borrow some inspiration from Aunt Beck at Aunt Beck's Creations and do a dirty dozen. And I'm going to, I, I don't have my prompt cards out, so you guys are going to give me prompts. I need 12 of them. Uh, let's see, this is uh, 10, 23, 20, and this is just going to be a, excuse me, a plain old dirty dozen. No double dirty dozens, no using magazines for reference. This is just going to be fun play. So if you want to play along, we're going to, we're going to, well, the first is going to be color. Prompt one is going to be color. Um, because that's generally what Becky does. She's, she says, get, you know, get some color on your sheet. So, and it can be whatever you guys want. So I'm asking for prompts. I need 12 prompts and three alternates. And one of the alternates is going to be a wild card. You like my dirty dozens with all the with all the <laughs> I go to a I'm a little bit tired tonight from all that. You know, it's it's 60 miles up there and then, you know, there's 10 miles of just driving around going to different stores and getting gas and 
all of that other stuff. So by the time you do all that driving around and unloading the car and fighting with the clerks to tell them you don't owe them $80. <laughs> Okay, the first alternate is going to be a wild card. That's a given. Okay, I'm ready for some prompts. Leaves. Leaves and doodles. So if you guys want to play along, I'll try to... Generally, I work slow enough that you guys are probably even um, done before I am anyway, but... Orange and black stripes. Ooh, cool. Orange. I like this black stripes thing. That appeals to me. That sounds fun. We got orange. I'm on six. Oh, did I see black feathers up there from Janice? Black feathers. Black feathers. <laughs> Stamps. Did Lori come in? Or is that uh, Pink Girly Lori? Pink Girly Lori. Stamps. Stamp script. Hmm. I don't know if I have any stamp script. But that sounds interesting. Hi, Beth. Welcome, Beth Schuler. Swirls. Yellow background. Okay, we'll put yellow background up here for me. But you, anybody else can do the background that they want for the color. I'll do a yellow background. And I'm not going to do mine on the big sheet. I'm going to do it on a 9 by 12 sheet. This just happens to be left from this morning. Eyeballs. Lori. Eyeballs. <laughs> Eyeballs. Favorite word. Hi, Crystal. Thank you. Favorite word. Favorite word. My favorite word is, I'll tell you what mine is, is triumph. T-R-I-U-M. This is just for me. You guys don't have to use this. I'm just writing down mine so I don't forget. Triumph. Masks. And I'm sure she means masks meaning, well, you can do a, a COVID map, mask if you want, but I think she's meaning Halloween stuff. Riri says she's going to do it in her comp book. Images will be an alternate. We love our images. One more alternate. Napkin. Halloween masks. All right. We got, we got them now. No more. Napkins is an alternate. Halloween. Halloween masks. All right. So, I'm going to take a minute here and get set up. I'm going to plug you guys back in because I don't want to run out of juice. And I'm going to set you off. You know, I, I usually do those more involved. Like I would do a double dirty dozen and go ask random org what to do next. And uh, get do the... Yeah. I don't feel like doing all that tonight. I'm too tired. I'm going to take this off my desk. So I can get down and dirty there. With no worry. Put that over with my snow globe. I <laughs> I better get up and move some of that or I won't be able to get out. Oh, hold it. Let me stand up and move some of this out of the pathway here. I got everything piled up on the floor. 
not where I want it. Yeah. All right. So I want a 9 by 12 sheet of paper. Well, is that really what I want? I might do this. I was going to cut it into prompt cards, though. So, yeah, I think. Because I think Becky is way ahead of me on prompt cards. So let me hunt out my 9 by 12 watercolor paper. Wherever that went off to. Ouch! Hit my knees on the desk. I might have to use that other... Hold it a minute. Hold it a minute. Now, I've got these books out and they're going to get caught in my chair if I don't move them. Let me get some watercolor paper. Yeah, right here. They had a, I got a, I got a, a tablet that I'm using, but this is available. They had Strathmore and Canson pads 40% off. And this costs regularly 15, 1550. That's too much for, but there is 30 sheets. But, I told her the sheets were loose in here, and I said, ah, I'm going to be taking them out anyway. Don't worry about it. She was going to go get them another one, and I said, don't worry about it. All right. So the first thing is to put yellow on the page for me. So the first prompt is color. So choose your paper and choose your color and put it on. And it doesn't have to be paint. You know, I could do yellow crayon, but you're probably seeing my head here. I'm sorry. I'm fixing my chair. I'm going to use paint because it's easy. Let's move my scissors. And I'm going to do prompt cards. In fact, I might need a lot of prompt cards. Ah. I'm going to have that tea gone before 9 o'clock tonight. I made uh, vegetable soup the other day, and I made a big old pan of it. My brother can only tolerate so many vegetables. I love vegetable soup. It fills me up. I can eat it for lunch and supper. It fills me up. But I, I didn't eat anything when I went out today, so I was hungry. When I came home tonight, I was hungry, and I just filled up a big old bowl of that veggie soup, and but it also made me thirsty. All right, I'm going to do a yellow background. I'm going to paint it. And I don't care if it gets on my, my desktop, because... I'm getting to the point that I'm going to take this desktop off. Now I went to Walmart. Um, I had I I've. Ended my boycott of Walmart. At Walmart, I have to say, besides Amazon, Walmart is the only place where I can get 20-ounce bags of Javalia coffee in our area. So I was after some Javalia coffee, so I got that. But I also stopped in the aisle where they sell their apple barrel paint, and I got some apple barrel paint. But... I went to Hobby Lobby, too, and I have to tell you, Hobby Lobby is, their deco art paints were few and far in between. I don't know if they're changing things around or what they're doing, but their little two-ounce 
I imagine they're restocking, but I was after Midnight Blue or English Navy, and I found some Navy, I think they called it True Navy, at Walmart, but I would. I was after Deco Arts, and well, Walmart doesn't sell Deco Art two-ounce paint, so I settled for the Navy. All right, let me give this a dry. This is prompt one. Color your background in any way you choose. I'm going to make prompt cards out of mine. I'm not going to ask for ready, ready. I'm just going to give it some time and move to the next prompt. And maybe you guys saw them as I wrote them down. All right. We're going to call that done. The next prompt is leaves. Leaves. Let's paint some leaves. Hmm. Leaves and leaves. Leaves. Okay. Well, we're just going to go with some of this. This is what I've been using for Penelope stuff. I don't know. I might keep this out because... Um, not use so much of that because I've got an awful lot of snow globes to paint. Let's get some of this other paint out here. Let's use some Tuscan red, some orange. I need some brown. Burnt sienna. And... Do, 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 do. A touch of parakeet green. And I'm just going to paint them on this chair. <laughs> and you don't have to do a million leaves. You can do them in any way you want. This has not been opened yet. So, I saw crochet pattern. I think I think the channel is crochet crowd. Do you need any that crochets follow them? I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. Um anyway, it's how to crochet a herringbone pattern. And they used a blanket yarn. Excuse me. I got a I gotta sneeze. I always get mad at my brother because he always sneezes in the morning when I'm streaming. So what do I do? I sneeze. <laughs> Can't get mad at your brother for doing what you do. I say your sneeze is heard all the way around the world, except for I think he does it intentionally. He knows it annoys me. <laughs> anyway, I saw this pattern for uh, kind of like an afghan and it's all done in herringbone 
it's really cool. I, I want to do that. And I don't have any blanket yarn. So I thought, oh, I'm going up to Hobby Lobby today. I'll get some. Uh, they called for the pattern. is a free pattern. And it calls for seven um, skeins, packages. I think it's 250 yards. 225 or 250 in one skein. Those skeins were like $10 a piece. And they called for seven of them. I'm going, I'm not going to pay $70 for an Afghan. <laughs> so I was wondering if maybe I couldn't uh, substitute. I know blanket yarn is that really thick stuff. But I might do the same pattern in, uh, you know, just what I have a, around a scrap yarn. We're going to paint some leaves here. I like the pattern, but I, I don't want to pay that much for yarn. I think it was around $10, because I thought it was... I, I, I'm pretty sure it was, if you bought it. And then, of course, you know, when you go to buy that stuff, like at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or all of that, they never have seven skeins on the, on the shelf, you know. So you almost have to order it if you do it. I'm just painting leaves here in the background. I should probably get out some of this burnt sienna here to mix in. Too much money for me. So I'm going to go up the stairs and see. I know there's black yarn up there. There's white. I might tear some pieces. But... I'm wondering it's just your regular weight, you know, what you get in a skein would work just as well because it may not make a really fluffy, warm blankie, but it would be certainly afghan. That's what... I'm going to try the pattern. I'm going to do a swatch. Because I like the pattern. And I'm just finishing up yet my scarf that I knit, knitted last year. And there are mistakes in it, but it's really not too bad. I can still wear it. It's just black. This one's going to all fall in the background anyway. And I really should get a bigger brush. Let's see if I can get... This brush is a little bigger. Yeah, this is what I painted the... It's got wet in it. We're just going to kind of put leaf shapes out here on my page in the background. This will all fall into the background. This will all fall into the background. Yeah, we're supposed to get some snow this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, that's getting dry on me.
Now remember, these are going to be prompt cards, so they'll be cut up into little shapes. So a lot of this isn't even going to... Alright, I'm going to call that done. Alrighty. Leaves. Now I need to keep these separate from those because those I'm using for my I'm using for my uh, snow globes. I'm going to put them in a separate little box. Oh, come on. Okay. I think I'll give this a little dry. So that's prompt two. Prompt one was background color. Prompt two is leaves. I haven't done a dirty dozen in a long time. is doodles doodles oops I don't want that where's that pen I was using my gloves I almost put the gloves over there with the doodles I guess this is still part of leaves. I gotta do some doodling in here though. I'm just kind of drawing out my leaves. But if you're ready to do prompt three, you can go doodle. This is definitely autumn, isn't it? No, oh, this is a big old leaf. He must be closer up. All right, so prompt prompt three is doodles. Hmm. So. When I think doodles, I think shapes like circles and squares and diamonds. 
or diagonals. So we're going to doodle some diagonals in here. I love my diagonals. I have to tell you, when I went to Hobby Lobby, I skipped the Christmas stuff. Not intentionally. I think I did it because there was these two ladies who always seemed to appear in the aisle I was in. We all kept running into each other. So I, I skipped the Christmas aisle because they were down there. So I didn't get any Christmas, but you know what? I've got boxes of Christmas left from last year. I did look for at the Christmas fabric was on sale, but no, nothing, whoops, that one's going a little wonky. Nothing, uh, nothing that I appealed to me, so I didn't buy any. And then I saw this, they have, um, uh, they have a whole shelf, kind of a big square bin of fabric that they put on clearance. And I almost bought some. They had it with the fabric. Maybe you guys who are wise to all of this might know what it is. It felt like a thin paper, and it was like it was gold. Yeah, and I think there was some pink. But it felt like a really thin paper. And I'm going, why is this with the fabric? But it was it was wrapped up on a bolt. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was like a tablecloth uh, piece, or you know, I don't know what it was. I'm gonna turn this this way. I can do it better this way. I'm doing diagonals. I like my diagonals. This is my doodling. This will probably, most of it will probably get covered up as we go along. You guys know I like diagonals. For some reason they appeal to me. And I'm just kind of doing them fast. I'm not trying to do nice, neat, neat ones. I'm doing sketchy ones. Sketchy, sketchy. Now, as a part of the doodling, I'm going to go in and put in some random dots. Because I have to have dots. Where are there diagonals? Mary has to have dots. Maybe not a whole page of them. That would take a while. Just random. And they'll probably get covered up too. A 
am I still going? Yeah. I have to, maybe I should get up and check my camera. I lost my connection this morning because my camera wasn't getting any juice. I can't blame YouTube. Welcome to everybody who's come in. It says it's at 100%, so I should be okay. Cheryl said she wrote down the props. Thank you, Cheryl. I'd like to get out there and play some of Beth Schuler's games. That little monster game, monster roll game, looks fun. But uh, I'll tell you, I just don't have the... This past week, I haven't had the energy to do a lot of stuff, and I'm so behind on stuff. I doubt that I'll get her swap done. I, w I would have liked to have done her swap, but it's, what, October 23rd. So, Beth, if you're listening out there, or Cheryl, you can let her know, or I'll let her know that I probably won't be doing her swap this month. Just too much has happened. I did enjoy the coin swap. I did the tag swap. All right. I'm happy with this. Let's put a a leafy thing in there, a bean. I guess I didn't put any beans on these leaves. All right. Are we ready to go to the next one? Orange. Orange. I have orange. <laughs> well, I could do images or napkins. I think I have some... Some Gleaf napkins. They're out in the other room. So I'm going to run and get them. The next prompt is uh, orange. That's prompt four. The alternates are wild card, images, and napkins. I'm going to run and get my little box of napkins that have leaf images on it. <laughs> I, I was sitting out here in the living room pulling the backs off of these napkins. they are. I think I got these at the grocery store. <laughs> all right. Look at all these napkin backs that I have. All right. I don't certainly don't need all of these. Maybe three of them at the most, maybe even two. And we're going to do some collage. So rather than cut out each individual leaf, I'm going to try something here. I've already got the back pulled off of these, so I don't have to fool with that. But I'm going to leave this folded up, and I'm going to cut through all four layers and see what I get here. I might get something that looks like a leaf and I may not. But it would sure be easier than Whoops, it looks like I missed, missed that. They all don't want to stay in one place. Got to hold on to them if you're going to do this, Mary. 
All right, all right, hold the phone. And the little white that I'm leaving will blend into the yellow. Let's see what I have. Yeah, this is going to work for me. I'll do a couple more of these. So we really only need one napkin, maybe. I bought another pair of Tim Holtz little fussy cut scissors. I don't know. I'm continually needing those. <laughs> I have a feeling some of them are down in the depths of my recliner. couple pair. I should take that back off and see if I can find them. <laughs> This is a pretty leaf. I wonder if I can get it out of here. Now, this is so patterned that I can do this, and still there are little hints of leaves there. I'm not sure a different type of napkin probably wouldn't work for this type of thing, but... And I could probably even use the edges here like this. Put that up there, whoops. Maybe along the edge here. That's how we put happened to the maybe along in there. Brother Sister Design Company. And we're just going to use this one napkin, whatever's left here. Let's see if I can get another leaf out of it. Maybe two. I have to hold it up to my nose. I think these leaves are going to have to have some snow on them. I think I, we haven't even started our raking in the yard yet. And I think we're going to get snow. But maybe it won't be so bad that it will melt before Thanksgiving and we can still... Here's a scrappy, oh, scrappy here. Maybe if I cut this, I'm gonna have to kind of trim it there and trim it on the other side. And I'll put these in the corners.
looks like somebody's yard needs to be weighed. <laughs> that up there more. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. I'll come back to those. All right, let's get out my blue pot. Uh. And I had paint on this. All right. This is an alternate that I'm doing. It's napkin. And I'm collaging down little bits of of a leaf napkin here. Yeah, it's, it's sticking on to my... Let me pull my sleeves up. My cat bite. My cat bite is just little red marks now. Cat bite's gone bye-bye. It doesn't hurt anymore. I'm sure that cat thought I was going to hurt it. I don't think the cat was mean, tempered or anything. It just, it didn't know me that well. And it crawled up in my, on my, I was sitting on the porch swing and it crawled up to sit beside me. And I was going to put my arm around it. And it didn't like that at all. It bit me. It hurt for a while. I scolded it. It knew I was mad at it. It was mad at me. Its tail was twitching like, no chokeholds for me. <laughs> I'm going, well, you're the one who crawled up in my lap. It isn't like I bent down and picked you up or anything. I said, don't you ever bite anybody like that again. <laughs> Just like that cat understood what I said. I won't. <laughs> Those leaves just kind of add a touch of color, don't they? That's the cat that likes to come and sun itself on our front porch. It's a neighborhood cat. It's a pet. It's not a, it's not a stray cat. It's not the one that drank 10 bowls of water last summer. We had one cat. I haven't seen that cat around. I wonder if it, if it's still alive. It was a black cat. And it wasn't this past summer. It was the summer before. And I'd set water out for those poor cats because they were so thirsty. And they would drink. I'd come and watch them drink. And I was in here working on art. 
had the curtain open and I saw that cat drinking out of that water bowl and I swear it sat there and lapped up water for five minutes. I mean, it was just, that cat was thirsty. But it was during the summer. But I haven't seen that cat around for a while. I'm wondering if somebody... I don't think it was any bit... It was too wild to be somebody's pet. I'm going to have to pick some of these off while I'm doing this. Where's the corner one? And I don't think we're going to do Halloween this year. My brother doesn't care to answer the door. He he said he used to enjoy it, but, you know, his grandkids are all beyond that, and he doesn't really take an interest in doing it for the neighborhood kids. I like to watch the kids get all dressed up and come knocking at the door. Little princesses and fairies and frogs and monsters. But... I was reading in the paper and they kind of advised the senior citizens to maybe skip Halloween treats this year. Their parents will have something for them. They'll get, they'll get enough candy. So we're just going to darken our lights, darken our porch lights. No Halloween. And that's coming up. Oh, I got plenty, don't I? I like the extra touches that these this one napkin just added extra leaf leaf touches to this I kind of like it and let you can still see the big leaves What else is happening in my life? Not much. If I didn't have this art, I tell you, I missed you guys this week, and I only, I only missed two days of streaming, and one day was, well, no. Did I? I Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and I never stream on. Monday mornings anyway. So Monday doesn't count. That's... I don't know. I kind of have enough on here to suit me. I'll put one here, and I think I'll call it done. How many do I have? Well, I've got, what, three? I think I'm going to call it done. I'll save these for my calendar. 
give it a dry. This was an alternate that I used. Napkins was an alternate. I already had orange on there. The fourth prompt was orange. I already had orange. Of course, I have orange in the neck in the leaves here, but. Giving it a little dry. I'm kind of liking it. Usually I don't like it until about the sixth or seventh prompt. I'm liking this. A nice background. All right, let's look at chat. Let's see what's going on in chat. My phone's way over here. How did it get way down in here? Yeah, I'm surprised you guys are still with me here. Let's look at chat. Flip. Janet said, we could, can skip a year and survive. Sue said, no one trick-or-treats around here anymore. It's all at churches and stores and even hospitals. Yeah, in the larger towns around here, that's kind of how it is. Uh, but around in this small town, in this small community, they still do trick-or-treating. And it isn't like it's hordes of kids. I mean, we're only a town of a thousand people. I don't know. We get, last year, I'll bet you, I'll bet you there were about maybe between 50 and 75 kids. Who knocked at our door I mean with their mommies and daddies I got chocolate they got the word out that that lady on the corner has chocolate <laughs> I got mean, if I was a kid I'd want chocolate not all kids can eat chocolate but all right what else is going on here besides that menu popping up Janet says, one is yellow background, two is leaves, three. Oh, you gave them all at once. Okay, Janet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much they understand. The cats. I don't know if that cat had its shots or not. I have no idea. I know I'm not sick from it, so it must have. Cat bite. Cat bite. Hi, Marjorie. Marcellino, Marcio, Marcellino. <laughs> Hi, Marjorie. Welcome, welcome. We're doing a, a Dirty Dozen art prompt game. Cheryl says, we have pine needles covering our backyard. Oh, just pull the recliner out and tip it over. Yeah, I should do that, Janice. <laughs> I really need to pull it out. I had, um, I cleaned behind there and I was have. I did, you know, I got all those magazines at the library for free and I just stacked them up there. Well, you know, that has to be cleaned out eventually. So I cleaned it all out and I got some of those magazine holder things and I kept all the Somerset and Smithsonian and those in there. But it still needs to be pulled out every now and then and swept behind and, you know, clean around your recliner. What? Let's see. Sketchy, sketchy. Here we go. Leaves of orange all over the floor. <laughs> oh, lame? Is that what it is, Aunt Beth? That paper? That fabric paper? Is that lame? Oh, what weight yarn, Mary? Um, 
the pattern called for blanket yarn on that it's a herringbone and and it's an afghan and it called for for seven skeins and you know that blanket yarn is big fluffy one strand yarn and i think there's 250 yards in one of those big skeins well they called for seven of those seven skeins of it seven they called it balls but you know they don't sell it in balls they sell it in skeins and i think it was ten dollars for a package of that a skein of it and i'm just going that would be seventy dollars i don't have that much to spend on an afghan <laughs> so i think i'm going to go upstairs and raid um the leftover yarn up from upstairs and you know uh, just a regular weight yarn like you get um you know just a little three ply yarn if you do a herringbone with that which is like single crochets and chains and you know that's all it is it's single crochets double crochets and chains and then they they do v shapes kind of and then they fill in the V. They do the V shapes. Consider this a V right here. And then the space in here on the next row, they'll put a single crochet and a couple double crochets in there and a single crochet and they make a background for it. And then they just keep doing their, the Vs. And it looks like a herringbone. And it's really a cool afghan but I'm going, I'm not going to pay that much money for it. I can't afford a $70 afghan. But Lame was that paper that was on a make a lap quilt. Yeah, I was thinking something just to throw over my my knees. And of course, I, I don't get cold because my brother, he keeps this house at 74 constant, both in summer and winter, you know. In the summertime, in the summertime, when he, I finally get him to turn on the air conditioner, he, he keeps it at 74. And then when that cools up to 74, then the air conditioner goes off. And he won't turn that air conditioner on unless it's 84 going into 90, and then he'll finally turn it on, and then it goes down to 74. But in the winter... Like right now, I think I've said before, right in front of my desk, I'm si I'm situated right over the furnace. My chair is right over. If that furnace blows, I'm dead meat. <laughs> but uh, it, it, the vent is right in front of my desk, and I'm really warm here. So I don't, and I'm warm out in the living room. I don't get cold, but a, a nice little lap afghan would be fun to, it's a crochet. It's called the herringbone, and it's on Crochet Crowd, I believe, on their site. And it's maybe a couple videos back. Um, but it was it looked easy enough that I could handle it, and it looked nice. Ice yarns. Family Dollar has art supplies. I found washi tape, black and white, which is a great and watercolor palette that closes. Has 20 wells and center wells. Oh, wow. And a wood burner. Well, there you go. Family dollar. Target has some nice acrylics, Candy says. They are in jars. I can't remember. See, I don't have a Target. I don't have a Barnes & Noble. I don't have a Michaels. <laughs> I don't have a Tuesday morning. We have Hobby Lobby and Walmart. <laughs> but I have to go 50, 60, 70 miles to get there. Michael's is usually stuffed. Let's see. I don't know where any of my supplies are. <laughs> and Becca says, I haven't the slightest idea where I packed everything. I know. I, I know exactly how she feels. Michael's didn't have any acrylic paint when I was there last week. Their shelves were empty. Well, yeah, Lori. I think that, you know, that's the way it was. Now, Walmart had... A decent stock of paint on the but apple barrel they were pretty well stocked uh, but uh, 
Hobby Lobby's deco art paints were practically non-existent. What do I have here? I got a napkin in my sleeve a little. Um, yeah. And I like the deco arts Americana. So I think I'm going to save what I'm doing for my snow globes off and not use them for other things till I get my snow globes done. All right. So I am ready for... Oh, Howie is with you on the bed, Aunt Beck says. Are cats adjusting? Yeah, I, that's how I feel, Janice. If it's a... It's, it's not really a ripple one. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. It, you do the stitch, you do a couple of foundation rows, and then you do, you, you single crochet some herring bones, and you actually make them into like a V shape. Uh, uh, I'd have to go look how, but as, as a result of doing that V shape like that in a row, then you've got this empty space. So on your next row, you come down, this is a pretty big space for crochet, but on your next row, you come down and you do a single space, some double, I mean, single crochet and some doubles, and, you know, you fill it in. So, it looks like a ripple, but it's not just V, 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 I mean, it's not just crochet here and then, you know, crochet this row and then crochet that row. It's not a traditional ripple. They call it a herringbone. It's really nice. But I would think, you know, that bulky blanket yarn, um, they they also call it jumble yarn. The other thing that I have about buying it at Hobby Lobby or Walmart, you, if, if I wanted kind of like a cream color. I was lucky if I could find two skeins of it. So if you're going to do something with that, you almost have to order it online if you want it all the same color. And if you don't want it all the same color, then you have to kind of pick and choose from what they have. So that's the bad thing about buying. It's better at Hobby Lobby because they have rows of yarns. But Hobby Lobby has that, uh, I don't want to call it their brand, but what is that called? Yarn, yarn Tree or something? I can't remember the brand, but they sell, they sell mostly that. I found a couple of Bernay, B-E-R-N-A-T, or Bernay, however it's pronounced. But, you know, they almost have, I don't know if that yarn tree or whatever it's called, I don't know if that's their brand, but it was mostly that brand of yarn. And I don't buy a lot of yarn retail anyway, and I'm surprised at how expensive it's gotten. I mean, I remember buying a skein of yarn, you know, just a, what, little regular skein of yarn for $1.50, It's up to 6 7 all the way from 5 to $10, depending on what you're getting. Expensive stuff. Let's see. What else are we chatting about? <laughs> All right. Oh, poems above, Cheryl says. Oh, wait, let's go up and read one of Cheryl's poems. Orange leaves are not on the floor. Oh, it's a prompt game. Oh, I know. Let's see. Janet says, Halloween has been canceled by me. Between crowd control, distancing, and candy transfer, it's best that that doesn't happen. You know, I kind of agree with you there, Janet, even in our small town. Even in our small town. I, I, uh, I, I'm a big proponent of social distancing. And uh, especially with people that you don't know. I mean, they come and knock at your door. You have no idea if those kids are carriers or if you're carrying or whatever, you know? So it's just, you know, when I go shopping, uh, even 
Even if I wear a mask, I, I'll wear a mask if it's required. I'm not going to fight him on it. I'd rather get my stuff and go home. <laughs> but uh, where it's not required, I don't wear one. I social distance. And I, you know, if I see a lady or two or three ladies down an aisle, I don't go down that aisle. I wait till they're done with their shopping, you know. But we don't have the dense population that you do back in back east so we're a little bit luckier there but that doesn't mean that you know we've been all through that all right we're back to the cats i'll have to go hunt for those poems cheryl riri says she's not sure if halloween will happen i'm sure if some sort of halloween will happen for those kids it just won't be trick-or-treat like like traditional okay color <laughs> I keep pulling that thin one out color was yellow background leaves doodles orange I did the alt it was napkins black stripes now that's what attracted me when we were saying because I can see some black stripes going across here and I am going to make those with if I can find it here I keep having to hunt for it I might have to dig one out a chisel tip is that a chisel tip no I need a new one a fresh one anyway is there a chisel tip over here? here's one is that one no. What happened to my chisel tips? Let's go get a fresh chisel tip. It's just in a drawer over here behind the chair. No. Oh, chisel tip. is in the way. There. Chisel tip. Chisel. Here. We'll do this marks a lot one. You don't want to see behind me. How can it look so neat and Half an hour later, it's disaster. All right, I'm going to move you guys off. This is one I got at the liquidation sale for 99 cents. Regularly, probably a couple bucks at this store. Regional stores, they're not big Walmart, they're not big box stores, so they have to charge a little bit more for their stuff. If I can get this off of that tag without destroying the tag too much. Okay, keep the tag. All right, we're going to do black lines. Which really kind of interesting. I think I'm going to do them with my ruler too. I'm, I think in straight lines. So, but I want to do them kind of in between the leaves. As much as possible. Maybe down a couple inches. Let's border it. No, because it's going to be prompt. 
cards. I do enjoy these dirty dozens, you know, because you don't have a... I I would rather do them where you pick, pick them out of a... Like, you know, pick them out of a... Rather than have all the prompts given to you. Because I tend to... I tend to over not overthink them. I tend to want to think them out when I have all the prompts given to me at once. I like the spontaneity of picking up a stick or picking up a card and not knowing what it's going to be. Like I already knew that black lines was a prompt. So in my head, I said, oh, I'm going to do something like what I'm doing now, which is okay, but I kind of like the, I kind of like the spontaneity of the other way, too. And this is all I'm going to do is just black line, horizontal lines. I'm not going to try to put any vertical ones or anything like that on it. This is going to be these big thick lines. Maybe like a Venetian blind. Maybe this is a Venetian blind. And you're looking out the window at all the leaves on the yard and going, I need to rake the lawn, but it's snowing out there. <laughs> oh dear, let's turn it this way. Let's see, that's a leaf, so we're going to leave it. Let's put one there, one there. Sort of like that. Okay, black lines. I'm happy with it. I am happy with it. Let's mark that off. Black feathers. I don't know. Feathers on here? <sighs> stamps and stamp script. I don't have stamp script, so I'm going to have to forego that. I'll have to do a... Let's see. Let's cross that off. Black feathers. Might look nice. I'm going to hold that and come back to it and do it with my, fine, my black fine liner and put black feathers on it. So let's go to the stamps. And of course, I got this owl. Where's my owl? I got the gargoyle. <laughs> Here. I like the little owl, though. We could do the gargoyle. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, I don't want to spoil my good thing going here. We're going to do the owl on here. I can't decide if I want to do them inside of the leaves or in the background. I think I'll do them in the leaves, maybe different ways. And let me get some black ink. And... I have it on my little shelf over here where I can find it when I want it. Well, I thought I could go late tonight, but let me tell you, that trip wore me out. I won't be going late tonight. I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm pooped. I'm tired tonight. I have so much I want to get done, but I'll be lucky if I make it through this. I don't know. I might have to refresh this. <sighs> Let's put him in here. 
Let's see how he stamps out. I might have to refresh this ink pad. Now, if I do prompt cards, you know, I may just get a part of that owl, so I might... I might need to do several owls on here. Let's refresh my pad. I'll put that back where I can find it. And let's get a scraper out. I can find one of those. Come on, just a little one. Well, we'll use this. We'll use this. Uh, go hunting for one. Now, I kind of want the prompt cards to fit my cigarette box, but I have no idea where I did those, and I think they were two and a half by three and a half inches. I think we <laughs> we ran into that one morning, and Carla looked it up for me. Two and a half by three and a half. I don't know if I have a cigarette box out here. Do I have one? If I did, it would be over here on the top shelf. And I am throwing things on the floor to see if I can find a cigarette box. I've been saving all my brother's cigarette boxes. He throws them away. <laughs> he probably is wondering what happens to them. I go dig him out of his, he's got a grocery sack out there that he throws those things in, and I go dig him out. Wait, what's that? No, I might have one over on the buffet. I'll have to get up and look. Well, that one should be juiced up. Let's put him, let's put him this way. Let's put him right here. I hope you guys aren't getting bored. <laughs> I need to do a major, major reorganization. Ooh. He's just got a mask on. Well, speaking of masks, we're going to have to do masks. So maybe I, I don't want to put masks on my owl's eyes, though. So I might have to leave some room for masks. Halloween masks. I like these owls. But I'm going to put them different directions because these are prompt cards. These are going to be, I think it's two and a half by three and a half. Could be two by two and a half by three. Oh, I better measure. I think I got a deck of cards over on the buffet over there. I think I remember seeing it over there. Put it this way. This is going to take me a minute or two. But I'm going to cut these up so I want owls on my cards. I might have to make those masks kind of small. We'll see. this one this way. He 
<laughs> There's one in every crowd. <laughs> He's hanging upside down. They're all looking at him like, how did you do that? <laughs> it was easy. She just stamped me like that. <laughs> I'm going to leave him the only upside down one just just because I get a kick out of it. <laughs> Looks like he's saying, don't fall on me. Hold on tight. I'm right under you. <laughs> Yeah. We're getting there. I wouldn't put so many on, but I know these are all going to be cut up into into uh pieces, so I got to put black feathers on here too. Well, black feathers, I could put some black feathers around the owls. Maybe make black feather t tails. We'll have to see. I don't want to get too much black on here. I'm already getting pretty dense with the stamps. Well, I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys. this one this way. Now I could do the masks on the back of the prompt cards and put little masks along the edge maybe. I have to think about it. I have to say, I think this little owl is one of my favorite stamps that I've carved. He really did turn out nice. I like to paint him too. I should try to do some other things in this style.
Should I put another upside down one? I just feel like I have to. They're the rebels. They don't know whether they're a bat or an owl. They're hanging upside down. <laughs> you can barely see them there. Do it this this way. And if the black gets in the way, the black gets in the way. Let's put this underneath here and just do a half of it. Can't even tell him. He's there. You can hardly tell he's there. Put one down in here. Maybe right in. Right in here. And we'll call this done. So there was the stamp. Let's put my ink pad back. So that was seven. I can't do a stamp script. I can do a wild card, swirls, eyeballs, eyeballs. <laughs> uh, I guess I could do owl eyes like so. Black and yellow, round ones. He needs a nose, though. Eyeballs. <sighs> All right. Probably black and white, because we got too much yellow. My favorite word is triumph and masks. All right. So let's go put in some eyeballs. <laughs> oh, me. In white. And black. My desk has got something under it there. I think it's a paintbrush. Come on. All right, we were using these this morning. I did buy me some more craft brushes. Let's use this one. We're going to put some eye, owl eyes on here in white. And then we'll go in and paint black ball, eyeballs. And only, only we will know that they're owl eyeballs. They'll say, what are those spots on your page? They're owl eyes. I would use yellow, but I've got so much yellow on here.
Only pink girly would come up with eyeballs. <laughs> Whoops, that's part of the napkin. Needs to be glued down. Everybody else will think they're beads. <laughs> oh, they'll say, why did you put pearls? I got it in the paint. Why did you put pearls on your page? Oh, that was one of the prompts. <laughs> I got scraps on here. I won't tell them they're really eyeballs. The thing about these, though, they may not look like eyeballs after I cut them because they could be cut weird, you know. Could be cut in half or one could be on one prompt. One could be on the other prompt card. So they'll just, they'll just be spots. But I'll know they're eyeballs. What's a Friday night for if you can't have a little bit of fun? Right? Now don't forget, Sunday night, Sunday night is our first live stream hop. And the theme is, the theme is just, I just wanna. And uh, it's, like, since this is our first top, I figured that you guys could get to know, would, they would be more, the streamers would be more comfortable doing something that they were comfortable doing. And s such as, I'm going to do an art journal page. I just want an art journal. Or I just want to make a postcard. Or I just, I just want to, paint I just want to crochet it could it doesn't have to be it has to be artsy but it doesn't have to be a painting or a drawing or anything like that we have Juanita who is she spins and you know you might see some interesting things for her from her and I think it's so neat that Lisa Conway joined our swap because, you know, Lisa uh, crochet or uh, spins and weaves. So we might see some unique things from them. I don't know if they're going to do it Sunday night, but as we get into our, and it's going to be every fourth Sunday. All right. One more set of eyeballs right down in here, I think. We'll go back in and put the black eyeballs in, the centers. And maybe we'll put a yellow gleam in his eye. All right. So, let's wash that out. Give that a dry. Eyeballs. Here's looking at you. This, I'm going to tear it. It needs to be glued down, but I'm going to tear it off. Well, maybe I'll put a speck of glue stick on there.
right, let's get some black. All my black is juicy. Juicy, juicy. That one's not opened, I don't think. I'll find one that's been opened. And I put them back in different spots. I haven't. Where's my black? Did it fall down the crib here? Ah. Uh, ouch. I got my glasses stuck in my bangs. Hold it a minute. Got my bangs stuck in the guards of my eyeglasses. All right. Pulling my hair out. <laughs> Is that a new one? I don't want a new one. Yeah. Have patience. Have patience. See how juicy this is? Juicy, juicy. I thought pink got gummy and gunky when it got old. This is getting juicy. All right, let's use that same brush. Yeah, we're gonna paint in. the centers. <laughs> oh dear. This one's going to be looking this way. <laughs> they're kind of fun when you see them on the big sheet of paper I think when I cut these up they'll get separated and let's put these smack down in the center This was Lori's idea, Pink Girlie's idea of eyeballs. One more. I'll make him look up. Look up. All right. Now I'm just going to put a touch of yellow in the center of each one of those. Let's give them a dry.
Better get a good look at them now because once they get cut up, I'm sure they won't look like eyeballs anymore. Oh, let's get a little touch of yellow. I'm going to go to my... I don't use this much yellow in my snow globes, so I can use it. Where's my little brush? That might be too much yellow, but oh well. Like I said, they won't look like eyeballs when I'm done anyway. There we go. I'm liking that. Even if it's a weird prompt. <laughs> it's Halloween. It's awesome. Okay, so where are we on this list of swirls? Favorite word is triumph and masks. Swirls. We can fit some swirls in here. I don't want to get so many that I don't have room to write my favorite words. I'm going to call that done because I want to write my favorite word and I'm going to use that big marker again if I can find what I did with it. Where did I put it? Over here. My favorite word is triumph. That is prompt uh, 11. Favorite word. I, I'm holding on to prompt six of black feathers. I'm going to do that last. And eight is stamp script. And I don't have that. I might do a image or a wild card. I think this needs some gold. But we're going to do my favorite word. And I want it. A little bit of the word on all the cards. So 
So how am I going to do that? Triumph. T R I U M P and the H is going to come over here. You won't be able to you won't be able to read some of these. T R I U M P H triumph. T R I U And you know why I like triumph so much? Not only is it a positive word, it's positive because when you triumph, you have to have uh, something that you're trying to triumph over. It's a victory over something, and you're celebrating triumph. So it's a, it's a victory word. It's a very positive, but you there's a hidden negative in there in that you had a hurdle that you had to jump over. And you did it. And so now it's victory. It's triumph. And that's why I like that word. I frequently make that my word of the year. since Ever since five or six years ago. Triumph. Triumph. Those eyeballs really are sticking out, aren't they? Triumph. I think I got it on there enough. We're going to call that done. We're going to do an alt here. We're going to do a wild card. So we did that. Masks. Well, I'm tempted to put some masks around these owl eyes. How would that look? Yeah. Let's do that. Only they're going to have to be kind of hidden because my owls are there. So consider this a mask. Maybe I can bring this out over this way a little. The owl kind of gets in his way there. So we can probably do a better mask here. Whoops. Now remember, these will be cut up into pieces, so a lot of this won't even show.
they probably won't even look like masks once I cut them up. I'm not sure I like that one, but it is what it is. I'm not going to go back and change it. And I'm just doing simple black masks around these eyes. So if the owls get in the way. Now I think I'm going to put the feathers on the back after I cut the cards because I don't know. I think I've got enough on, on here. I almost have too much. Two more. Alrighty, there's my masks. <laughs> really makes those eyeballs pop out. So now we just have to have um, a wild card and black feathers. And uh, I think my wild card, I'm going to do borders. after I cut it. So 
So now, if you give me a second, I'm going to do the feathers on the back. But let me, let me go over here and see if I can find a cigarette box. And if I can't find one, I'll have to go get one. And it might take me a minute, so enjoy the... Talk among yourselves while I'm gone. I thought I had one out here. I thought I had a... Now I'm going to have to go get one. I'll be right back. go out in the out in the back porch and get a cigarette empty cigarette box oh those eyeballs are weird this is what he smokes I want to make sure I get these cut the right size so I was saying three and a half but actually that would have been too long three three by one and three fourths three by one and three fourths so this is 12 inches and this is nine inches if I make it three, I can get four this way. One, two, three, four. Four times three is equal to 12. And there's nine, so 1.75 divided into nine. Let me go to my calculator. Let me go to my calculator. Doop, 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 doop. calculator. Nine divided by one point seven five equals twelve. Oh, that's seven five. Let's do that again. Nine divided by one point seven five. Five. I can get five of them this way. So I can get 20 prompt cards. So, and I am going to, I'm just going to cut them on the, let me get you guys back here. I'm going to cut them on the uh, trimmer. We'll paint this and alter this. See, it's got this pretty foil in it. If I can get it out without tearing it too much. I've got these pretty foils in there. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Every package has a foil piece in it. He doesn't know I'm saving all his empty cigarette. He said, I'm going to have to go to town and get me some more. So he smoke. He buys them by the pack. I said, how many packs do you smoke? And uh, a carton. He buys them by the carton. He says he goes through about a carton a month. I think that's what he said. Well, 30 days. I think he smokes too much, but he isn't going to change just because I tell him to. He says, I've smoked 
for years and years. He's probably smoked ever since he was in high school. He's not going to change now. All right. So, I said three, four this way, three inches. I don't have enough room on this silly desk. Look at that. One, boy, that just seems like I can get more. Is this nine by 12 paper? Oh, I bet this is nine by 15. Well, that's okay too. It means I'll get five instead of two. I'll bet this is nine by 15 paper. I said nine by 12. Those eyeballs are coming out pretty good so far. Whoops. No. I should have trimmed that better. So I'll get... 25 cards, I think, instead of 20. Okay. So, I said one and three-fourths this way. So, it'd be right about there. Oh, I'm going to get that owl on there. Let's bring it down a little. All right, one and three fourths is right there. One. How will that fit? Where's my cigarette box? Yeah, it could be two. It could be two inches, but I think I'm going to leave it at one and three fourths, and then I'll have plenty of room in there. Let's see, two will go into, i got to look at the size of that paper again. What? It's 11 by 15. So if I make these two inches, let's calculate again here. Well, two will go into 11 five times, so I'll still just be getting five. If I cut these at two, this one will just be short. I'll have a couple short ones. Two, two inches. Two inches will fit. Let's cut them at two. Two by three. <laughs> You'd think I'd remember that. I'll have one short one. Let's see if I cut this one this way. I can keep those eyes on the same page. And this is going to be cut a little weird because that other one was short. I'm trying to save those eyeballs. <laughs> there. We'll know the short one is a, a special prompt, a wild card. The short one will be a wild card. 
I could fix it probably. Yeah. All right. So we're going to make them two inches. <sighs> two by three. That should be easy to remember. I don't remember those things. I just have to laugh at these. Oh, let's cut this one off over here. <laughs> it's got two sets of eyeballs on it. We'll always laugh at this pack because it'll be the eyeball pack. Instead of 25, I'll probably just put 24 in there. Let's see. Can we do it this way? The eyeballs are coming out pretty good, I have to say. This is all Becky's fault, you know. There's a couple of short ones in there. I didn't cut straight. Becky got me started on these prompt cards. Oops. That one's coming out pretty good with the eyeballs. Now, this one, I think I want to get this owl. Well, either owl. Two. Probably this one is better. So let's cut it here. Last one. Let's start over here, maybe. Yeah. Let's cut a little off of this. Trying to get the eyes on there. I almost got them all on there. One. Two. Three. Oh. Oh well. Okay, got a bunch of scraps. Oh. What time is it? It is 
10.30. I'll probably quit after this, after I get these done. I'll probably quit a little early tonight. I'm kind of tired. So I want to do border and black feathers and words. So we're going to take the prompts and we're going to start. Let's see. Let's just... Let's see, the border, I think I'll do the border with the white marker again, with the black lines. This could actually go for black lines. Let's move all these over here. So, we'll do these cards one at a time. There's 20, 24, not counting that short one. Now yeah, I got to... So this is prompt, this is my wild card prompt, is the border. And that's eight. And the black feathers will be, oh, yeah. Oh, I put border there, alt, wild card. That isn't what I wanted. This is not an alt. That's just a hold. And this is borders. My eight is borders and my black feathers is going to go on the back. So, what we're going to do is go like this and instead of Painting. I was going to paint it with my my fine liner, but I'm just going to do a a feather, feathery feather. Looks more like a leaf. And we're going to use background color as one They're really abstract when they've been cut. Two is leaves. Let's do the feather again. I'm not good at doing feathers. leaves and I'm just drawing those feathers from memory I should probably go look at something but it's with that I'm not going to put eyeballs as a prompt. I'll put eyes. And you know, eyes could be E-Y-E-S or I of the alphabet. Eyes or eyes. I could, she said eyeballs. I'm going to put eyes. Let's do the feather. I think the feather is whiter at the bottom. Looks more like a <laughs> looks 
looks like it got caught in a windstorm. That's a black feather. Cheesh, Mary. Oh. Eyes. Or eyes. So I'm going to do that. I don't like my feathers. I'm going to go look at a feather. A black feather. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Where did I go? I went to somebody's. Just trace the box on the back. Just trace the box on the back. I have to refresh my head, remind myself what a black feather looks like. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's go to images. Okay. All right, let's... I wasn't too far off. Let's make it a little... These will have to be adjust, adjusting. But. All right. Maybe I can do a better one on this one. Something like that. That's going to be my black feather. And what prompt is this going to be? Doodles. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on a Friday night. Tomorrow's Saturday. And again, Mabel at um, Crafting on a Budget will have her sell at 6 p.m., Joyce says. I said 1. She changed her time to 6. That's why I don't like to give times. Then, because I mislead you guys. <laughs> No. That's a feather. And that will be orange. And I might mix these up with another set of prompts because these are so, these are awful lot like fall. Or I might just label it fall. And do it once a year. Or do it for fall. But I could see these being mixed up with another set of prompts.
prompts. And black stripes. I like these marks a lot. They're a little expensive if you buy them retail. But I got these on liquidation sale, but they're nice markers. I like the Pen Plus Gear ones too. And we are on black feathers. <laughs> Yeah, I think black stripes. Did I do that? I did that. Stamp. Now stamp could be postage stamps or stamp an image. However you interpret it. This one was kind of fun, I have to say, those eyeballs. <laughs> I'll be laughing at those every time I use this prompt deck. Be laughing at the eyeballs. I'm just going to put script. <laughs> you have to say they make you chuckle. This has got to... Sort of. And this is swirls. Now I won't do it tonight because I'm tired, 
but I think what I'll do is I went back in the back porch and got that cigarette box and I'll gesso this white and then I'll take this other napkin and decoupage it and I might put some of this trim on it just for I don't know if I will or not maybe if I outline it or I might stamp my owl on it we'll see but I'm not going to do that tonight because I'm kind of tired tonight I've been tired all week <laughs> this week has just totally worn me out favorite word <laughs> oh, this eyeballs Lori, 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 Lori Leave it to Lori to come up with that prompt of eyeballs. I like this card. This one's cute. I think I'll make this one wild card. Some of <laughs> this one looks like, huh? Or could now it goes like this, definitely. Staring down, staring down at the Halloween festivity, Halloween party, costume party. napkins Images. I want to get these done and about, you know, probably about two thirds of the way through them. Oops. Yeah. I did images wild card. 
napkin borders. I think I've got them all. Color leaves, doodles, orange, black stripes, black feathers, stamps. I put script. I did borders, swirls, eyes. Did I do swirls? I think I did swirls, didn't I? I think I did. Wild card, script, swirls. So now I'll just start putting like dots and dashes and stencils and stuff like that. I do enjoy doing these dirty dozens. This is really kind of fun. I like doing the yummy pages too. Yummy me and your unique mixed up magazine. Yay, a page. Art prompt game. So I'm gonna put stencil. crayon or crayon like crayon or crayon like meaning if you don't have crayons if you have gelatos or something like that oil pastel I haven't done any crayon stuff lately. I need to get back to my pet portraits. circles. If I mix these with another set, I might have to make another set and make my prompts unique. So I don't have duplicate prompts. Um, texture. Which brings us to bubble wrap. Prompts are a lot of the same, but that doesn't mean it's still kind of fun to play them. I'm going to have to go out and find some unique prompts. We'll just keep going here. Bubble wrap.
Man, I'm putting stickers. You can make a sticker if you don't have stickers. Just put glue on the back of something and slap it down. Call it a sticker. Of course, I just got a couple left. I was thinking and then it just slipped my head. What shall I put? Dots and dashes? Dots and dashes. Now I'm going to put shapes. And then on this little one, I think I'm going to keep him out for something. So I think I got 24 here. Yay. One... This one doesn't have a border. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22. I must have counted wrong. I got enough. <laughs> I think I goofed up in my counting. I think I have 24. I didn't put borders on the fronts of these. These, these messed me up. Four. 
8, 12, 16, 24. Okay. I am good with those. Even with the eyeballs. Even with the eyeballs, Lori, pink girly Lori. So let's put them in this little box along with this napkin and I will take care of these Sunday night, not Sunday night. Sunday night is our hop, so probably sometime in the future <laughs> I'll finish decorating the box. I'm not going to do it tonight because I'm just a little tired tonight. I thought I would do a all-nighter tonight. That didn't last long. So I have one more thing, though. I want to take this house scene. And let's border this. Let's. I do want to get this off in the mail to Dee Dee. Let's see how this works. I'll have my brother drop it in the mailbox tomorrow when he goes to get the mail. She probably won't get it till the middle of next week because it won't go out until Monday. Because they work short days here. Straighten this up a little. Too much more to it. Yeah. This is the photocopy, and I've got my name kind of at the bottom of every one of these. Now, let's see how this folds up for me. Let's see how this folds up. The original one folded up nice, but you never know when you make these photocopies. Let's get my ball folder out. That was the hot dog fold, and this is the hamburger fold. And then you fold it this way, I believe.
might have to put a border on that. Almost the border went over here. I know. Let's do another one and have a giveaway. And if I have the address, I'll send it out tomorrow too. I'll have my brother mail them. Uh, let's see. I wanted to do a... Which one did I want to do the border on? This one, I think. thin border. Okay. So we're going to cut this. Right there. I'm sure the guy who ran these copies off for me wondered why half of the pages, half the houses were upside down. He didn't ask, but I'm, I'm sure he wondered. Now, I like to, because there's always some white peeking out, you guys have to have patience, I like to border the inside here, let's just, because if it does peek out, it'll peek out black, and I like to just put a, especially when it's black. And, and right in here, too, I do. Because that folds sometimes, that cut sometimes peeks out white. And it's more important on the outside ones than the inside ones, but on these edges, the horizontal edges, but we're going to do them all. Yeah, I think that's good. Just like that. And see, it does peek out just a little bit. But, um, I do Tanya's trick of putting that tape on there, and that helps. That is pretty, pretty darn good. Let's put some double-sided tape on the corners here. That's the empty one. Have patience. Have patience. And I think my name is good enough on these that they on, not on all of them, but you can see it on the back 
one here that they can tell who it's from. So it goes like that. And this one. And if you just match it up as nice as you can, the folds will work themselves out right. How many people do I have still listening to me? I haven't even checked lately. I've been trying to get stuff done. Yeah. Let's see how that works. I'm not sure that one's going to work. We shall see. We shall see. That one's a little wonky. I might have to. Fix it. I never had one go bad after I taped it. to do it again or I could just no well um, I'm gonna go ahead and have a giveaway I will not give this one out I won't send it to Dee because I tore it there I'll keep this one for me but let's go ahead and have a giveaway and then I'll do this after I might just do them tomorrow when I'm not so tired. They won't go out tomorrow. They'll go out Monday. <laughs> so let's do a giveaway. Um, let's see who's in here. If you're lurking, get in here. If you want a house scene. I'm only going to give away one. We've got 35 people. Let's see. House zine giveaway and this is 10 20 and uh, international are welcome to play In international are welcome to play uh, we've got 35 people in here Let's go with the range of 1 to 100. That gives you plenty of numbers to choose from. And uh, the one that's closest to the number without going over, I'm going to do a random org. Try not to chat, although we don't have that many people to worry about. So, But try not to chat until we pick the winner. Uh, international welcome to play. If you see somebody has your number... Um, either change it or change your number or tell them to change their number. I try to get your, if I don't have your address, try to get it to me. I say within seven days, but let me tell you, I'm the slow one when it comes to sending out stuff. So get it to me as soon as possible. Here's the zine. This is the copy. They're just little houses. I did them the other night. I think I did them last Sunday night. So, don't say anything until I say go. Let me go out to random org. 
And we're done with the feathers. Let's get rid of all the feathers here. Yeah. All the houses that I was looking at. Hopefully this will take me there. What's the fuss about? Learn about randomness. Where's that sequence number generator? Sequence generator. Between one and a hundred. Let me stand up. Let me stand up here. Okay, go. Got a white. We're, we're doing the giveaway for this little house. I was okay until I got to the very end and I tore it here. So I'm going to do another one. I'm keeping this one for me. I'm too tired to do that stuff tonight. I'm a little tired. This has been a long week for me. Hi, Karen K. Hi, Kelly S. Allie K. Hi, Daffodils and Tulips. Welcome, welcome. Deborah Brown. Joyce Boring. Janet. Riri, Angie, hello to everybody. Branson, hi Branson. Olga, international, welcome to play. Okay, I'm going to count down from 10. If you don't have your number in there, get it in. Hi, Lynn J. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> I'm, I'm plagiarizing Dee Dee, 2, that's what she does. One stop. Okay, now let me go out to random or this is where I need to stand up so you guys can see. Let me turn the lights down a little. Let's clear all my notifications. Turn down the lights so you guys can see without so much. Yeah, Samsung's yelling at me. Oh, Azure. Azure. You're right under it. Let's see what happens to Azure. Um, but I'm on, let's see, am I on live chat here? I'm on top chat. Let's go to live chat. No, nope, you're right over it. I went to live chat. You got right in on the nose. You're okay, Azure. <laughs> so let's go to random org. I have it set up for between 1 and 100. 1 and 100. Yeah, it was a lag. 1 and 100. And, and uh, I'm, I like the sequence number generator because it seems to give me better results. So, get sequence. The number is 39. The top number is 39. So who is closest to 39 without going over? And let me tell you, I owe a bunch of postcards and I am really slow, but I'll try to get these out. Closest to 39 without going over. I see Lynn J with 31. 
Lynn J, would you guys agree? Lynn J. So Lynn, I do have your mailing address. If you haven't changed it in the last year. <laughs> so she had 31. So I'll try to get these out. I, I would have mailed it out tomorrow, but I tore it. And I'm too tired to do another one because I'll just mess it up too. So I'll I'll do a couple of these tomorrow and they won't go out until Monday. I'm going to try to get my other postcards to mail. I have some owl postcards to mail that are all ready to go. I just need to address them and put a stamp on them. You were back where I was cutting the second cardboard. <laughs> Oh, oops, I do that too. Sometimes I, I, I will minimize my, on my phone, I'll minimize my little app browser, my app, APP app, and uh, uh, I'll go, you know, check out, maybe check my email or something use the calculator and I'll come back and the and the live is not really live. You know, the little red dot's not there because I took the focus off of it. Oh, you just posted a rendition of the Dirty Dozen tonight. Oh, I can't wait to see it, Mina. Yeah, I'm ready to go to bed too, Holly. So thank you all for for uh, streaming with me tonight <laughs> for hanging with me and have a really great weekend don't forget tomorrow at, at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, well tomorrow uh, Beth Schuler will be on too in the evening and I forget her time 6 30 I think Eastern and at 6 p.m. crafting on the budget is having a, an auction sale so have a great weekend and i will see you sunday night i don't know if tanya's going to stream i think she's taking a vacation i think she's on vacation but i don't know her schedule you guys probably know it better than i do but she usually streams on at noon on sundays but i'm not sure she's going to stream this sunday so have a great weekend what what uh oh i did prompt cards tonight what else did i do i did prompt cards uh <laughs> i opened happy mail and we did this little zine boy i'll tell you i need a clean sheet of paper here what am i gonna do for a thumbnail we're gonna do we're just gonna spread prompt cards out here for a thumbnail <laughs> this will be my thumbnail. I always like to set it up for a thumbnail at the end. And then I usually show the projects or one or two of the projects that we do. I'm not going to put the cigarette package in there. How am I going to do this? I could line them up, but I like them just that. But I, I want them closer together. And then I'll just take a picture of like that. <laughs> I like the eyes. The eyeballs. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.